quote. And the quote said, how a man treats you is how he feels about you. So I just had to co-sign that. How a man treats you is exactly how he feels about you. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again to y'all another video. Hope y'all are having a very great day. Hope y'all are having a very great week also. My day is going absolutely stupendous. Big shout out to all the channel members. All subscribers of the Trey King Show family. And much love to each and every last one of you beautiful souls, even though we probably got two ugly people in the room today. But you all, I want to say this right here. I want to say the way you start is the way you finish in life. Now, before I start this story, I want to send a special shout out to the channel members and also to the subscribers of the Trey King Show for sending me this video because it's a sad shame what is going on in the life of Derrick Jackson. Yes, Jack's in. Let me say it right because I used to say Jackson. But it's sad that you would have a guy, yes, a guy who will sit up here and promote so much uh, negative things about men, but at the same time, he's the same person that he is talking about. And also, Derek Jackson, when you see this video, because I know you're going to see it, please don't hit me up in the email again like you did last year telling me to, Trey, you know you wrong. I thought we were better than that. I know we are better than that, but please don't hit me up. Now, I want to thank the channel members and also the subscribers of the Trey King Show family for sending me this story because it's very sad what's really going on. And also, this is just really a part two to what was already going on last year and the year before where there were allegations of Derrick Jackson cheating. And come to find out, those allegations, it wasn't a lie. It was the truth. Yes, it was. Now, I don't know if this is the same woman that he was allegedly cheating with because from what I heard, he had several different women. But I don't care how many women he had. The point is, he played you all for a fool. Yes, with the capital F. Played you all for a fool. Got on here on social media like a lot of these other people do. And they tell you one thing, but they live in another way. And I don't like that. I don't like that by one shot. But at the same time, I noticed on social media that a lot of people are making fun of Derry Jackson. Now estranged wife, Miss Denia Jackson. And Miss Denia, when you see this video, short it. Hold your head up. And guess what? Even if he try to come back because the relationship that he has right now with this woman named Official Pinky Love. Like, how you going to leave a God-fearing church woman for an Instagram thirst trap? That's what I want to know right there. She's all on Instagram, damn near in her panties and drawers. So, you're going to leave a woman who's covered up, promotes God for a woman who promotes Beelzebub. That's what I want to know right there. That's what I'm trying to tell you all is that you must be careful who you listen to. Now, for those who don't know anything about Derrick Jackson, unless you've been living under the rock the last few years, Derrick Jackson has been on social media for quite some years now, a little bit longer than me, I think. Or maybe we started about the same time. But his whole platform was built on men being real men and basically saying that black men, because he particularly pointed out black men, because he is black, as you all can tell, that black men don't cheat. And come to find out, the lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh, that was a lie. Yes. So, like I tell you all, you must be very careful, the people you listen to. Now, before I start the story, I want to send a big shout out to Tasha K for once again <laughs> breaking the story. You got to give credit where credit is due. You go, girl. Keep your head up. Keep doing your thing. And just tell the truth. That way you ain't got to worry about another lawsuit. Because we're going to keep it real over here. But anyway, much love to Tasha K. Now, Derrick Jackson was recently spotted in Miami at some kind of art facility or some kind of art gallery they have in Miami, where he was spotted with the new chick. And right after he was spotted with the new chick, yes, and Tasha K posted the picture. So thank you once again, Tasha K, for posting the picture. He went on Instagram and basically let out a sorry tirade, expressing how deeply sorry he was to the people, and also explaining what's going on in his marriage, as if the public needs to know what's going on in your marriage, because we can clearly tell what's going on in your marriage. But anyway, we'll break the rest down as I read a snippet from this story. I am going to read a snippet from this story, and I am going to give my opinion. All of it. Mm. Surely, as we go, relationship guru. Who the hell made Derrick Jackson a guru? The only guru I know was a rapper from New York who rapped with a group called Gangstar. And rest in peace, guru. Anyway, now relationship guru Derrick Jackson divorced a wife after, guess what? Yes, allegedly cheating again. I don't think it's allegedly now because he was right behind that booty. Now, I don't understand how people can be so damn heartless. How you leave your wife, I think y'all have like two or three kids, I think three. How you leave your wife and your children for some woman that you met on damn Instagram, who's all over Instagram, hips sticking out like her hips been injected with steroids or something. I don't know what's going on with that. Now I want to ask you all, who do you think look better, Derrick Jackson, a strange wife, Denia Jackson, 
or his new piece, Official Pinky Love. Which one do you think looked the best? And I'm going to tell you which one I think looked the best. That's Denia Jackson, Kadira Jackson. It's a lot you could have did with Miss Denia. It's like you just killed Miss Denia in a church and also in the Bible while you out here in these girls' draws. That's what I think was going on. Anyway, now relationship expert. He's not a damn expert. He's an expert at lying. Derek Jackson has announced he's getting divorced from his wife, Denia Jackson, after he was reportedly caught stepping out with another woman once again, this time in Miami. And Derrick Jackson get around more than Tupac got around. Now, my thing of this right here is that, you know, maybe some of you all was blind. Maybe some of you all can see past those muscles or whatnot. But Derrick Jackson also has been thirst trapping on Instagram. Because what guy promotes uh, men not cheating and promotes himself as a certain way as being a one-woman man? You feel what I'm saying? What guy promotes himself as being a one-woman man, but at the same time, every time you see him, on Instagram, he walking around with his shirt off with the tightest shirts. Like, how you going to put on your little nephew shirts, Derrick Jackson, your little nephew five years old? So, not only did you get with a thirst trap, but you was also thirst trapping. So, I guess what goes around comes around. But you got to do like the great Barry White one saying, you got to practice. Yes, practice what you preach. You feel what I'm saying? And some people do not do that. Anyway, now shortly after the photo was posted, Derrick Jackson posted a long sorry tirade to his 1.3 million Instagram followers telling them that him and his wife decided to terminate their marriage. Now, I don't think your wife decided. I think more you decided to do that because you couldn't keep your penis in your drawers. Now, some of you all may be thinking, Trey, what in the hell did he say to his 1.3 million Instagram followers? For those who don't know, this is the excuse that Derrick Jackson gave his people. He said, over the past several months, my family and I have gone through many changes. Some of you have speculated, while others of you have reached out to offer support as we privately established this new normal for ourselves and our beautiful children. What you mean the new normal? So basically what you're really saying is that you have your cake and eat it too. You got your cake and you're eating it too. You get what I'm saying? It's like, how can that be normal, number one, for you and your wife? But also even more, how is that normal for your children? Also, think about the children, man. I mean, it's like you had your mind more on official pinky love hips and that cookie than your own children. But this is also what he said. He says earlier this year, after much prayer, counseling in deep consideration we decided to go our separate ways and file for divorce making the decision to file was one of the hardest decisions of my life <laughs> if only you're not cheating that should have been the hardest decision because we wouldn't even be at this point if you would have kept that penis put up but also he says but i found peace knowing that our mission of raising healthy children starting with healthy and whole parents is still being accomplished and once again he's saying a whole lot of nothing to you all. You get what I'm saying? Like, if you really thought that much about your children, man, number one, you wouldn't have started cheating a long time ago. Whenever you started, because you ain't just started this year or last year. You know what I'm saying? You've been doing this. But also, he says, from falling in love as just teenagers to becoming spouses and now co-parents, I'm grateful for the years we spent together and wouldn't trade them for anything. I was blessed to have such an amazing person in my life and forever will be thankful for all she's meant to our family. So, Hold on, pause right there. So you're grateful. So this is how you treat people that you are grateful to? You know what I'm saying? And I don't understand why would you sit there and say that you wouldn't trade those years in for anything when you traded them in for an Instagram thirst trap. That's sad, Derrick Jackson. But also he says, we ask that if you pray, to please pray for us as we navigate this grieving process. If not, please respect our privacy. Now you tell me this right here. How in the hell can we respect your privacy when you didn't even respect your own privacy? You didn't even respect your own marriage, but you got the nerve to sit up here and tell people to please respect your privacy. You didn't even respect it. Anyway, let's close up. But I'm going to tell you what's even worse than that is the fact that you had Miss Denia Jackson out here dressed like she was a Black Panther, had her with some kind of hair bun or hair hat on, looking like she was European Newton daughter or whatnot, Elwich Cleveland from the Black Panther Party, for those who remember about them, like she was ready to go to war. And yes, she was going to war. Guess who? For you, Derrick Jackson. She was out here looking like a damn fool over you. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them were saying, girl, you so crazy. You, you stupid. But at the same time, y'all must understand this. A lot of y'all women sit up here and take up for men who don't even have a job, number one, who don't have any kind of social media presence, and also who may be beating on you. Now, you stand by that man and take up for that man when your family tell you to leave that man. So everybody should just jump on Denia Jackson because remember, Miss Denia Jackson did not do anything wrong. She was doing everything that a wife's supposed to do other than the fact that she should have left him the first time. He cheated on her. Now, I understand she maybe have stayed for the children. I can't speak for her because I'm not her. But at the same time, 
you know, people are coming at her like she was the one out here cheating. And fine as she was, she should have been cheating. Because guess what? Let him see how I feel. And I bet you he would have thought twice about doing the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Now, imagine if she would have stepped out and did that. But also, he had Denai out here putting curses on people going off. And this is a little bit she said. She said, may your husband and wives become widows. Golly. Whew. Let your children become fatherless. I mean, you you are uh, divorced now and your children are fatherless because he's not in the household. And then she also says, let your seeds become vagabonds on the earth. She barked menacingly at her haters. And then she also goes on to say, let the words of your mouth and the words of your hands be returned back to you. And then she goes on to say, let it go down your throat and choke you slowly until your days become few on the earth. Golly, what preacher been giving you this kind of game? And then she goes on to say, the word of God says, touch not my anointed. Yes, it does say that. Ooh, I almost caught the Holy Ghost right then. Y'all felt that? And then she says, and do my prophets no harm. You've been warned. That's Miss Denia Jackson warning to you all. So y'all better back up off Miss Denia. But at the same time, Miss Denia, you should have saved those words for Derrick Jackson because clearly the public wasn't a problem. The people were telling you to leave his sorry butt, but you stood right there just like a lot of other women are doing right now. He ain't going to be doing in the future, standing beside these sorry men. But that's not the point. The point is this right here is the way you start is the way you finish. I feel like this. If you promote yourself to be a certain way on social media, you should be that way. That's just like me sitting up here promoting nonviolence and taking up for victims. But y'all found out later on in life that I'm a serial killer and I got about 50 dead bodies under my belt. Y'all will be pissed on. A lot of y'all would just say the hell with Trey. And some of you all may love me even more because it seems like some people love people that do them wrong. But at the same time, I want Miss Denia Jackson to hold her head up Hopefully she can get through this process, but for people to come at her and clown her and basically call her a holy roller and saying, I don't blame Derrick Jackson for leaving her. Look how she dressed. In my opinion, Miss Denia Jackson is a better woman, looks better than Derrick Jackson new piece. And that's just my opinion. And I'm going to ask you all this in closing, which person would you choose to be with? Would you choose to be with Denia Jackson or would you choose to be with official Pinky Love, the thirst trap off Instagram? Anyway, you all be careful who you listen to because people will tell you a lot of things in this life. But for a guy who sit up here and made a career, made a living off of downgrading men and come to find out he's the same exact man, even worse than the man that he was talking about. Because those men that he was talking about while he was wearing those tight shirts and those cars, those men, what he was saying, were basically like boyfriends and stuff. They wasn't husbands and they damn sure wasn't fathers. So for you to be a husband and for you to be a dad to three children and you disown your family like that, you leave your family for some kind of thirst trap, that says a lot about you, Derek. But anyway, y'all heard my opinion. Let me hear your opinion in the comment section. If that's anything I may have missed or misinformed, that is not my true intent. So please let me know what you all think about this in the comment. And if there's anything else you want to say, you can email me. Anyway, if you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Also, share the video with your family and friends. Till next time, you all stay blessed. And keep it real. And if you're with somebody, love that person. Treat them right. Be loyal. Loyalty is everything. You get what I'm saying? Now, I can tolerate a lot of things in life, but I cannot tolerate a disloyal, you know what. Anyway, you all let me know what you think about this story. And thank you all once again for tuning in. And to you, Derrick Jackson, please do not hit me up once again telling me I am wrong because clearly, sir, you are wrong. And Miss Denia Jackson, if you need any kind of counseling, just hit me up and uh, we can talk about it. Anyway, I'm just joking about that part. Anyway, you all have a blessed day. And guess what? I'm out.